Whoa, when things are out of alignment, ugh, ugh, it can really throw you off. And the same goes for your motorcycle. When your wheels are out of alignment, it can cause handling issues, uneven tire and drivetrain wear, and other problems. In this video from the MC Garage, I'm gonna show you three ways to check that your wheels are tracking true. When we talk about wheel alignment, we're referring to the rear wheel's position in the swing arm and thus its alignment with the frame and the front wheel. The front wheel's position is not adjustable, but the rear wheel can shift in the dropouts. That's key for chain adjustment, but it also means that the rear wheel's position can be out of whack. I know what you're thinking. You're already good about making sure that the tick marks on either side of your swing arm line up so your rear wheel is already sitting straight, but not so fast. These lines are not necessarily perfectly accurate, and more importantly, there's usually some forward and back play at the axle blocks, which can complicate things. So, while the stock tick marks are good for reference, you're going to want to check their accuracy with one of these three methods, all of which require that your bike is vertical, either on a center stand or a paddock stand. For this first check, all you need is a tape measure. Use it to measure from the center of the swing arm pivot to the rear axle on both sides of the bike. If the numbers are equal, you're golden. If not, adjust the wheel position until they are, making sure to maintain proper chain slack. This method is simple and very accurate, but unfortunately, not a lot of bikes give you a clear shot from the swing arm pivot to the rear axle. A lot of times, the foot peg or the muffler or some piece of bodywork is gonna be in the way. And if that's the case, I've got another option for you. This little tool lets you visually check your chain alignment, and if your front and rear sprockets are in line, then you know that your rear wheel is sitting straight in the swing arm. To use this, you remove the chain guard, then clamp the tool on the rear sprocket and sight align down the bike. If the rod angles off to one side, turn the axle adjusters until it runs perfectly parallel with the chain. This Motion Pro tool is one of the quickest and easiest ways to tackle this job, and for 14 bucks, it's a cheap buy. We'll put a link in the description in case you want to get one for yourself. Okay, so I've already showed you two options for checking your wheel alignment, but I told you I was gonna show you three. Well, here it is. It's the parallel straight edge method. And if it looks hard to set up, that's because it is. It relies on two parallel edges running along the side of the tire that you use to make sure that your front tire and your rear tire are perfectly aligned. This method's been around for a long time, but personally, I'm not a huge fan because it leaves a lot of opportunity for human error. So, for the sake of simplicity and convenience, I'd recommend going with one of those two options we already showed you. Whichever method you use, once you verify that your wheels are aligned, go ahead and mark your axle blocks for quick reference later. And you can maintain chain alignment anytime you need to adjust your chain tension by turning the adjusters on either side of the axle the exact same amount. It's also worth pointing out that if your bike has a single-sided swing arm or shaft drive, you didn't need to watch this video, but we appreciate you tuning in. So, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, ride safe.